I was contacted by Harry, who is one of the members of the Flickr group on my website, and uh, Harry also sent me a picture of a lion, and it had a really fantastic effect applied to it. Harry asked, any ideas how it was achieved? Evidently, it was done without the use of any plugin, so it was done purely in Photoshop. Anyway, this is the method I've come up with. I'm using this picture taken by Kieran Palmer, and it's under the Flickr Creative Commons license, so thanks very much indeed for this. Kieran, right, to make a start, we're going to duplicate our background layer using Command J or Control J, so that's using Command J, Control J. To this layer, we're going to come up, we're going to go to Filter. We're going to drop down. We're going to go to Oil Paint. Now, when Oil Paint opens, we get this look as our default. I'm going to drop down to Lighting. I'm going to come down to the very last slider, our Shine. If we move this up, you can see the way it brings in the texture. We're going to drop this down to zero. Coming up to Stylization, grabbing hold of this. As we start to move it across, you'll notice the effect that has on the fur. We're going to whack this all the way to 10. Cleanness, 10. Scale grabbing hold of this, moving it up into something in this area here. That looks pretty good. And bristle detail, guess what? Yes, we're going to leave that at 10 as well. So we've got 10 for stylization, 10 for cleanness, scale set at 6.83, and the bristles on 10 as well. I'm going to leave the angular direction where it is there on 300, and we're going to click OK. Through it goes onto the picture, and you can see the difference that's made to the image. Right, next stage, we're going to use Command J, Control J. We're using Command J, Control J, which has now duplicated our layer one. To this layer, I'm going to come across. We're going to click on this icon. We're going to go for the Smudge tool, which is in with the Blur tool, Sharpen. There it is there, the Smudge tool. Taking a look at the toolbar here, that's the brush I've got selected. The mode I'm using is normal. The strength I'm using is 50%. Uncheck the sample all layers and make sure finger painting is also unchecked. Right, if I just bring my brush down, show you the brush I'm using. If I right click, brings up exactly the same brush panel as if you were to come to the top left hand corner. Now with this, if I just click on the side, what I've done is I've gone to reset brushes. I'm going to click on OK. So that's now reset the brushes, scroll down to the bottom, the brush I've selected is this one here. It's 100 pixel. If I just click on it, you see little dots there. I think that would work well with the fur. So using enter or return to remove that uh, brush panel. We're going to zoom in to this area of our picture in 100% and drop in the size of the brush down using the left hand square bracket and just follow the line of the fur. You can come through and you can see the way you can start to sort of paint over this just to bring through the detail. In fact, I'm going to use six on the keyboard to take my strength to 60%. So try using the number shortcuts, the numbers on the keyboard. It really just helps to be able to move your way quickly through the opacity, coming into this area of fur here, just coming over, just gently stroking it into place. It just helps to bring it out a little bit more. So coming through like that, using the space bar to move our way around coming down around this area here, just following the lines of the fur down. I think it's sometimes nice as well, when Harry said that there's no filters involved, I thought, brilliant, it's sometimes, sorry, no plugins involved, just the filters. And I think sometimes that's really nice, isn't it, to get back and just use the tools that we've got in Photoshop without relying on plugins as much as I enjoy using plugins. And just coming through, and you can see the way we can just pull it out into the there, that looks brilliant like that. Coming through into this part, I'm going to drop it down to 40%. So I'm pressing 4 on the keyboard. You'll notice my strength has now dropped down to 40%. Well, strength of the brush. Coming through over this part, round we go like that. That's looking really good. Happy with the way the effect is coming over. Great lighting, great colors on this. Works really well against the background. I think Kieran's done a fantastic job. So just lifting this up a little bit. If I switch it on and off, you can see the difference that's making. And just coming over, taking it back to 50%, pressing 5 on the keyboard, just bringing this over the edges like that. Round we go. Right, just finally these last parts. Evidently, the effect was applied in something like 2.6 minutes. I'm taking slightly longer here to show you, but it is an effect that you come through and you can just, you know, once you get used to setting the opacities, you can do it really quickly. But hey, take a bit of time, enjoy yourself while you're doing it. Through we go. 
looking pretty good so far using command zero control zero one thing that could really help is if we just double click we're going to call this uh, what it is that smudge we're going to come down to the next one clicking on layer one and i'm going to call this oil paint so we know what we've done to this layer right the one thing that was really apparent with the picture was the the colors the colors were absolutely fantastic so let's take a look at boosting the colors on this image we're going to use a slightly different method we're going to use command j control j and we're going to change the blend mode from normal we're going to go to overlay watch what happens to the picture through it comes look at those colors just dropping down the opacity if we drop down the opacity we can begin to blend it in something like that there looks really good just switch that on and off fantastic or what right the next thing i've lost a little bit of color with the eyes the mouth and the nose there I'm going to click on the smudge layer. We're going to come across. I'm going to pick up the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to make a selection just over the area of the eyes, the nose and the mouth. So just around this area. Well, on this layer, I have turned off my smudge copy, which I'll be renaming in just a second. But I'm now going to use Command J, Control J. The reason for doing that is we have just duplicated this one part, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. The reason for this is I'm going to come across, I'm going to pick up my sponge tool in with the dodge, the burn tool. There it is, the sponge tool. I've got a soft edge brush, 65 pixels, saturation. You've got desaturate or saturation, going for saturation. Flow at 50%. We can now come in and just come in over that. Look at the way we can bring through that uh, brightness in the tongue over the area of the nose, bringing through the colors in the nose. That looks better like that. We just switch this layer on. Don't forget we're in a reduced opacity so you can see the way it's coming through. But clicking on layer one, because that's the layer we need to work on. I'm just bring it through the color in the eyes like this. But that's looking pretty good. Right, let's just call this uh, color so we know exactly what we've done to this layer. Right, with this layer, we're going to duplicate it again using Command J, Control J. So using Command J, Control J, you notice the way you've brought through the colors even more, looking pretty good. But with this, we're gonna take up to 100%. So we're in the overlay blend mode, we're in at 100% opacity. The reason for this is we're now going to use this to come up and add detail by going to Filter, Other, dropping down to high pass. Now when high pass comes through, let's just drop this down for a second. Let's zoom in so we can see what's gonna to happen to that area there. We got the radius set on 0.1 pixel. As we start to bring this up, you'll notice the detail coming through in the fur. What actually happens is if we take this too far, take a look at what happens to the areas of the white. So if I just whack this up, you see the way it just sort of burns out a little bit. So bring it through. This will depend on the file that you're working with but coming into an area round about that region there looks pretty good. What have we got? 8.5. I'm going to click on that. Now that's the way it's looking, switching it on and off. And that looks pretty good. If you want to bring through even more detail, all you need to do is come to this layer and use Command J, Control J. Using Command J, Control J will duplicate it and the effect. And you can see the way you can start to bring through even more detail. Perhaps a little bit too much with that, but just using Delete to remove that layer. You can even reduce the opacity down on the one, blending it in with the other, but uh, I think I'm happy with this one. Using Command 0, Control 0, that's the effect we've got. So really like the way this is working. Don't forget, it is all completely adjustable. You can come into this, you can reduce that color down a little bit more. You can increase the color entirely up to you. That's working with the color of the nose and the eyes. Once again with this, you can reduce the opacity down entirely up to you. One finishing touch, whenever you've been using layers, whenever you've come in, you've used filters, whatever, make the last port of call. Down here, this little black and white icon for adjustment layers, and we're gonna go to levels. Taking a look at this, you'll notice the way that the whites has just dropped out a little bit. I'm gonna move this in. As we start to move it in, you'll notice, look at the way the colors just come through even more brightness into the image coming to the center slider there you might want to darken it down give it a little bit of contrast you may want to brighten it up i'm going to go into that area and i'm just going to click ok and just that very small change look at the difference that's made to the picture go on give it a try i'm going to use tab on the keyboard to remove all the panels using command zero control zero thanks very much indeed for watching the video thanks to harry and to kieran if you'd like to join the flicker group please pop along to the website 
love to see you there. Until the next time, it is Happy Imaging, and take care.